Okay, another exam question walkthrough. We're going to do transpose formula now. So we've got three questions we're going to go through, but let's just do one to start with. And I've put down in this left-hand side here, down here, I've put some rules that we can follow. We'll go through them in a sec after we've looked at our question and we spoke about what we mean when we say transpose a formula. So we may be asked in an exam to transpose a formula and make something the subject of the formula. So what does that mean when we're going to make something the subject of the formula? So currently the subject of this formula up here, up here, is the P, isn't it? Because it's P equals V squared divided by R. Now our question's asking, make V the subject of the formula. Right, okay. So we can see V is trapped on this side, this right hand side. Um, and it's got a function around it there. It's divided by R. We need to get it out of this. Right, okay. So let's start from the beginning here and go through this step by step following our rules. So the rules we want to follow are, first one, we've got to identify what we want as the subject. Well, we've done that. We want V as a subject. And where is it? It's trapped on that side there. Remove slash move parts of the formula to leave the subject on its own. So we're going to move these functions and get rid of this onto this side in order to leave V on its own. And then remember, we have to do the opposite function to cancel out. So if we want to get rid of this R, for example, here, we'd have to multiply by R. And because it's the opposite of dividing by R, it cancel this R out. And we do the same to this side, which is the last rule. Do the same to each side of the formula to balance it out. We'd have to do multiply by R on this side as well. So let's do this example together now and see where we get with this. Right, so let's write it out to start with. What we're starting with, P equals V squared divided by R. Okay, right. So what we need to do, like we said, is get this guy on its own, V. So we're going to do opposite functions to remove stuff. So let's look at this R. What will we do to remove this? We just said, didn't we? We do the opposite of divide by R, which is multiply by R. We've got to do the same to this side. So we're going to multiply this side by R as well. Okay, so now what does our formula look like? We had P, we've multiplied it by R. So this is how we'd write it, wouldn't we? We'd write P R, P multiplied by R. Okay, and this side, we add V squared divided by R, we've multiplied it by R, which is the opposite of divide by R, so we'd be left with this, V squared. Okay, we're still not done because we want V on its own without a square root above it there. Sorry, without it being squared there. So let's do the opposite of square, which is the square root. So again, let's do the opposite function to cancel out. So cancel out this square we're going to put the square root in. So we do square root to each side. Each side. Do the same to each side of the formula. Now what does our formula look like? So we add P R, P times R. We've put a square root above it. So now it's going to look like this, isn't it? It's going to look like this. The square root of P times R is equal to what? We had V squared and we've applied a square root to it, which is the opposite of square in it. So now we're going to cancel out that, aren't we? That's going to cancel out. So we'll just be left with V. So we've done it. We can flip this round now just so we look like we know what we're doing. And there's our answer. It's going to be V equals the square root of P times R. So let's recap on that quickly. We started with P equals V squared divided by R. We decided we wanted to remove part of the formula to leave the subject on its own. So what we need to do is remove these parts by doing the opposite functions, which is step three. Opposite of dividing by R is multiply by R. So we do the same to both sides, yeah? Which is step number four there. Then we rewrite our formula. So we're left with um, P times R equals V squared. And then we had to remove this square, didn't we, off here? Because we had V squared. So the opposite of squared was the square root. So we did the same to each side, square root on each side, and that gave us this part of the formula. And then we're done then, aren't we, at that point? So that's good, and let's move on to the next one.